Hello everyone, welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint True Survivor Mode with my main man, my main guy, Ash. Um, so it's actually been a few days since I've played this character and I can't even remember what time of the day it was when I, uh, when I ended the last episode. So if this isn't the correct time of day, I apologize. Uh, I guess I could look at that video and see, but hey, I'm not really going to waste my time with it. It's... I actually kind of prefer daytime right now anyways until I get the night vision goggles. That way the video is not pitch black and you can actually see stuff. But this is the campsite that I ended at and the world seed vault is right there. Now, once I get there, I have no idea how long it's going to take for me to actually get there. But once I get there, I might go ahead and end the video. But if it takes me like 10 minutes to get there, then I will go ahead and try to infiltrate and get the night vision goggles now remember this is a true survivor mode i'm just trying to survive i do not have to clear every single base i come across completely out i do not have to uh murder everybody i see like i normally do in my stealth videos and honestly for me it's a nice change it's just a nice change of pace because <laughs> normally i go into a base and just murder everybody and this one you know i don't have to do that i'm just kind of going in there looting and then trying to get out besides this guy is a sniper and I don't really have any other primary um, so I'm rocking this uh, I do think this is an M82 I haven't even looked I do have this pistol so I could always infiltrate with this but I am going to loot this house make sure don't I highly doubt there's anyone actually in here but let's loot this up do, 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 do. Let me see what I got. Uh, oh, oh. I got an MP7 and a shotgun. The shotgun I don't need, but I could have kept that MP7 if I wanted. Uh, go ahead and equip that. Get rid of this. Yada, yada, yada. Don't think I have any other gear. Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the pistol. Don't need a Desert Eagle. Thanks for the offer, but I do not need that right now. Okay, so I still don't have any actual perks, but I think I can get some. I have the night vision perk, which is good. I would like to get the sniper perks, so that means I still have to waste two perks and this just to unlock this, which is fantastic. Uh, the ability for mini maps and the drone to um, uh, mark people, I... That doesn't even matter because I'm not. I don't need that. So the only two in this section right here that is useful for me is the thermal and the drone cooldown. But I'm going to go with the thermal first since hopefully if I don't die, I get my uh, NVGs. And then over here, you know, uh, all these perks and whatever, whatever, and whatnot, and all that, all that good stuff. But, um. Since it has been a couple of days since the last time I played, someone was telling me something about two different things in the settings. Uh, a couple of people were saying, uh, saying that uh, they think it would be a good idea just to have the loot markers on. Uh, just so I'm not running around the base for 20 minutes looking for the boxes. So, for now, I can always turn this back off later. But for now, uh, you know, you guys let me... Uh, uh, let me know what you guys think and how you play if you're doing this. But I guess for now I can try to do it with the loot markers on. So I'm not constantly running around the base searching for these boxes or miss boxes. Uh, someone also said uh, turn on the loot notification so I can see what I got. Uh, that one I don't need. So I'm just going to leave that one off because it's not a big deal for me. I don't mind checking my backpack. Uh, but then again, maybe later, you know, uh, depending on what you guys say, um, I might turn it on. Someone else said, uh, you know, it might be a good idea to turn on communications. So if I'm talking to you guys and I'm pointing at something, I can mark it so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I might, uh, so I'm going to leave this on. So I'm not, I might rarely ever use it, but I'm going to turn this on. Uh, mostly for you guys for the video in case I'm talking about something and I'm trying to point at something and you have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I can just place the communication marker and be like, yeah, that thing right there is what I'm talking about. Uh, someone said turn on locations and uh, I don't I don't want to turn on locations. Um, so I'm leaving that off. 
uh, someone said something about the mini map. Now I don't know anything about the mini map because I always turn it off. Uh, but someone said you can actually have the mini map off and just have the uh, compass on. But honestly, I don't see anything about the compass. Marker, 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 marker. So I'm just going to turn the mini map off. Uh, I mean, hang on. Let me let me turn it on and just kind of see. So if I, if I press down, I see that, and then if I press down again, it goes away. I think that's what the person was saying. Turn on, turn on the mini mini map, and then turn everything on and off. So, so <laughs> it seems like in this video, I'm trying to you know take in some of y'all's suggestions and use it and see what I think about it, but also see what you guys think about it because um, the whole mini map thing. Honestly, I just wish I'm gonna make the mini map as small as I can. Uh, there's no detection clouds because I'm playing on extreme, but I'm turning every everything off Every single thing off uh, map undiscovered locations map setback blah, 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 none of that matters uh, I don't even need that So yeah, so now if I get into a combat I don't know if the mini map is just gonna pop up about by itself. I guess we'll see but yeah, in this video, I guess I'm, I pretty much am just testing out some of y'all's suggestions that y'all gave me. Because I told you I would take it into consideration and test out the ones that I feel comfortable with uh, accepting. And then you guys let me know what you think. Uh, should I just leave everything off? Uh, or should I, you know, turn this on? Or, you know, maybe have this off? Because uh, there there are multiple, multiple survival games that I've played in my um, game lifetime. <laughs> My uh, gaming experience where, you know, it says true survival. What I've never actually played a game that said true survival. But I played games that, you know, is a survival game. And they have, you know, little markers on like that. Like they have a marker for, hey, you know, here's ammo over here. Or, hey, you know, here's a little mini map. So it seems like I'm close to enemies. So the mini map did pop up. And I can't get it to turn, turn off. So that is kind of upsetting. I wish it just showed the compass. I wish like the actual mini map wasn't on. I don't know how I feel about that. I do like the compass, but I wish the mini map itself would turn off. But I guess I'm I guess I'm just going to leave it on just for this one video. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. So, I I'm heading south. Southwest. So. Okay. Obviously, de detection clouds are off. I'm on extreme anyway, so detection clouds don't even matter. Extreme. It's a very custom HUD. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it on just for now. You guys let me know. I really don't want to break the, the immersive experience, but, I mean, if you pull out your binoculars... You have, you have that compass at the very top too, so yeah. I'll I'll let you guys tell me what you think. Ooh. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Moving on it. I guess I could come over here and loot what they have. I don't think they're probably skill credits and ammo. Explosives. Nice, I suppose. Alright. Uh, my canteen's filled up, so I don't need to fill it up in the creek. Can't remember if I filled that up earlier in another video or what. Like I said, it's been a few days since I played this, uh, this, uh, series. I was trying to play it yesterday so I could get a video uploaded today. 
uh, which today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday, February 12th, which means this video would probably come out tomorrow, Thursday, which would probably be today when you watch this, unless it's an older video than I guess in the past. <laughs> oh, time is so weird. Anyways. I was trying to get these videos, uh, this series, uploaded a lot sooner. So I was trying to, uh, I was going to record, like, uh, multiple episodes yesterday, but then uh, I was having those crashes uh, and disconnections from the Ubisoft server, so I didn't get any of this stuff uploaded, uh, recorded like I wanted. Because I couldn't even play the game. And I don't even know if it's fixed today. Heck, I just turned it on jumped right into it because I was like, I want to play this mode, and I know people want to watch it. Jesus. So I need to be able to play the game so I can record this series. Now the World Sea Vault, I think it's up here. I think I said I needed to head southwest, which is right over there. Wow, it was actually... I'm actually kind of glad the compass was down there. Because then I didn't have to pull out my binoculars and look around at, you know, a mountain. While I'm trying to stare at the uh, compass on the top of it. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a good thing to have that mini-map down there. Because, I mean, it's not really showing me anything. I have everything turned off. I'm playing extreme, so even if I have the t detection meters on, uh, I wouldn't see it. Because extreme difficulty turns that off automatically. But, I mean, the little mini-map down there is not really showing you anything. It's just showing you kind of like the land. Eh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. If I could just have the compass that spins around, that'd be fine. I mean, that's what I would prefer. But I don't have that. So, you guys let me know what you what you think. Uh, yeah, I, I don't mind just using the binoculars to look, but admittedly, that like would take... I don't have to kill these guys, but they are kind of in my way, so I might... I might take them out. They are... Facing my direction. Maybe I can move along these bushes, stick, uh, stay in cover, get a little bit closer, maybe take them out with my pistol. Or I can try to move up this uh, this hill here. Okay, they're not facing me now. Maybe I can move up this hill here and take them out from the high ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as they don't see me, I should be good moving up this mountain. Uh, I need to see them. Uh, okay, I see them. Slightly. Slightly see them. Okay, so now they're moving. Kind of move over here a little bit. Maybe get in this bush. Because I would like to kind of be concealed when I start firing on these guys. Can't really see much. Down. I don't really need to loot them. I feel like... I mean, I'm not sure, but I feel like I have enough ammo. So there's a bivouac right on top of this uh, World Sea Vault. So I'm actually going to kind of snipe these guys, these front guys from right here. Or I could just try to get up on that hill and snipe them from there. I hear a drone. Yeah, should I take this guy? Nah. The last couple of times I've taken those things out, I didn't really get any. Uh, didn't get anything from them. So, I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna move up this uh, hill here, this mountain. Uh, I might go ahead and discover that bivouac. Go ahead and discover it, um, and then start taking shots at these guys. With that being said, I'm gonna remove my suppressor, holster my. Uh, Sniper, move up this mountain here. And see what I see. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's right up here. I can see the amber from the fire. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I might actually, uh, whenever I have time, everything in my life is just constantly changing. I'm surprised I'm still even able to, even able to do this, uh, which might not even last long, to be honest. Um... <laughs> But that's for another story. That's for a later story. Anyways. Um. What was I fixing to say? I don't know. I kind of got distracted. I was, I was fixing to say something and then I got distracted. Oh, what I was going to say is I might try to uh, live stream whenever I have time. Uh, live stream like a uh, true survival uh, stream and make a whole new character just for the stream. Uh, I don't mind doing that if you guys are interested in, in that. I think I did that once before, and it was really fun. It was really interesting, but then I kind of got, no offense, but I kind of got bored. Uh, chat was, you know, really popping. Everybody was, you know, talking and conversating, but then it just got to the point where, like, nobody was saying anything, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm super bored now. I like talking to you guys. I like hearing y'all's opinions and stuff, but when there's, like, 30, 40 people watching and nobody's, nobody's, uh, talking. I'm just like, um, nobody's, I'm just talking to myself. So there's that guy. This would be a lot easier if it was nighttime, to be honest with you. I'm gonna, I would like to be concealed when I start taking these guys out. And I know I could go prone. But with this grasping as high as it is, it might, uh, I might not be able to see. I can try. I see that guy. I can't really see over there. Hmm. I could go up there, but I don't want to. Maybe. Eh. It's just really. I can't really see if anybody's like right here. So how about I just get. Whoa. Like right here. This seems this seems decent. Just need to keep my eye on this left side to see if anybody walks over there or walks away. Keep my eye on everybody moving. If I can do this without anybody getting alerted, I will. See someone's someone walked right over there. Well, I do have a drone, so I could use that to kind of do a little bit of recon. So I see that one guy on that side. Which is totally fine. I need to do some target prioritizing right now. Uh, as long as no one is behind this wall and I can't see them, I should be good. But it looks like this guy is doing exactly what I don't want him to do. Which is always amazing. So... With that being said, I'm gonna bring my drone back to me. Where did I go? I'm all killing up. I can't see myself. Oh, there I am. Okay, so that guy is walking away from that behind that wall, but that guy looks like he's walking in that direction. Okay, he did not. Very good. Target priority. Priority. Prioritize. Target prioritizing is one of my biggest things. Um, if you ever watch my stealth videos, and it, it's really mostly at the beginning of um, most of them. I'm trying to, you know, uh, kind of recon the area. I don't really like using the drone that much. I have nothing against the drone. If you like using the drone 500 times in two minutes, go ahead. Um, I have nothing against the drone. I just uh, I feel a little bit like realistically, <laughs> uh, 
if I pull up my drone and I fly it over here and then I undeploy it, I feel like, well, you know, that drone just kind of fell to the ground. I can't, I can't redo it. You know, I don't have, I don't have 20 drones in my pocket. Um, so if I ever do use my drone, I do it like once or twice and I normally try to bring the drone back to my character as if like they're grabbing it. Um, uh, cause I feel like that, you know, that's more realistic. Um, but you know, I have people say stuff all the time like, Oh, drone, modern time, drones, realistic, juice, drone. You know, Hey, if you want to use your drone, fine, go for it. Just don't come at me attacking me because I didn't use the drone 50 fucking times in 30 seconds like you do, okay? And besides, if I can clear out a base stealthily without even deploying my drone once, eh, I'm probably better than you. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm not, God, I'm, I say this all the time. I, I'm, a, I'm an asshole when I don't try to be an asshole. I'm just saying, if you want to deploy your drone once or twice or 500 times, good. Good for you. Just, uh, I, I'm just saying I can do it without using my drone. But getting off that topic, because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm being a total freaking asshole right now. Anyways, I don't think I should move in from the front. I can't even see that corner. It's so black. It's so dark. So I have no idea if someone's standing right there or not. No one's out here. Who would be that dumb anyway? Someone is to the left. No one is to the right. Sounds like he's coming in here. Oh, I'm stuck. So someone might be at that door. Ah, the footsteps in this game can be so off. Sometimes they sound like they're two, two feet from you, but they're actually like 20 feet away. So I'm not sure if someone... I'm not sure if someone actually walked to that doorway or not. Because I can take that guy out on the left. I'm just not sure if someone's standing right next to him or not. Just making sure my suppressor was on. Uh, do I have... Uh, do I have... Interim grenades. I do. I have one. Okay, so it's just this one guy. All I need is the MVGs. There are protests everywhere right now. This is not a safe time for you to be out. You should stay home if you can. I'll be careful. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, that being said. Do I have, let me dig into my backpack really quick. I have grenades, I don't have C4. Gosh. I have a mine. But I need, I, I wish I had C4 is what I'm trying to say. I wish I had C4. Um, but what I can do, th this is what I'm going to try to do. Uh, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how this is going to work. But I can try to do this. Because I need them to kind of... Because I know they're all on their... They're doing their routes. But if I can have people kind of head this way and whatnot... I don't mind them getting alerted. I don't care about that. It's... Uh, I could have just tossed a grenade. But I feel like I probably use grenades more than I would a sniper. You know what? Speaking of that, that kind of gave me an idea. Because my original idea was to blow up that mine, get their attention to come this way. But what I can do is place that mine. By the way, can you pick up mines? You can't pick up mines. Maybe I have to crouch. No, okay. You can't pick up mines. That's a waste. Anyways, what I can do is stick... Because for some reason they don't see mines in the ground like that, which is totally insane. What I can do, stick mines 
and areas where I know for a fact they're going to run to. Now, now I can get their attention to come this way. And hopefully these mines will take a few of them out. But I wish I could pick that one up and kind of place it right here. But what my plan is, is to get their attention to come out here. Now, I don't know how well that's going to work. <sighs> Once they step on that first mine, they will probably stop and not move anymore. But I'm just trying to play uh, smart here. Because I'm a sniper class. I'm sharpshooter. I have an M82 and a pistol. I'm not my <laughs> normal panther. Uh, if I was my normal panther, I would just sneak in and slit everybody's throats and uh, get headshots. But I'm just trying to play things smart here. So, let's try to be smart. Explosion alert. Oh, so, oh, so what? Why is that popping up? Explosion alert. If, if that was popping up when I was um, taking those guys out in the beginning, I had no idea. So I need to turn, I need to turn that off. I don't need that. Okay, well, not communications. I need the, uh, I need the mini map off because I thought I had everything off. Everything is off. So weird. Well, that sucks. I was actually kind of liking that um, compass right there, but I didn't know it popped that up. So kind of sucks. Oh, my mind just went off. Go ahead and throw another grenade. Hopefully that would get their attention. Back to running out the front. But yeah, I forgot I have these. I should probably... Oh, there was another mine going off. So that's at least two people dead. At least two. I don't know how many people was actually on the mine. That's another mine. I placed four. I think I placed four. I placed you four or five. But three has went off. So that's at least three people down. I could have stayed outside and sniped them as they came outside the door. Yeah, I could have stayed outside and sniped some of them as they came out the front door, but I figured all the people, I guess someone saw me. Yeah, someone had to see me. That explosion got their alert to come back this way. Now, this place can be hard to infiltrate if you're not a panther. Now, technically, there's multiple things I could have done. I could have just uh, went down that ladder, tried to drop down in the back, and got the NVGs. But then, I would still run into the problem of passing these people. Yeah, so here's a few dead bodies here. I see somebody right here. This fucking loot is just in my freaking way. I can't see nothing. I gotta turn that off. I don't. I don't like that. Um. I, I don't like it. I can't see. Maybe if it was different. Maybe if it was small. I don't know. Let me. Let me see if that changes anything. No, not really. Gosh. 
Uh, I, I didn't mind having at least the loot boxes, but it's showing all the loot, which is totally stupid. I just want the loot boxes. I don't care about the loot on the ground. That's at least two people right there, so... Contact! Eyes on Smoke them, boys! Smoke them! I thought that I thought that was a bit further. I honestly 100% thought that grenade was a bit further. Hey, do you see me? Pretty positive you do. Here's a grenade. Ah, down, grenade down! God, they just smoked out the three. That was a nasty, nasty eye shot. Pretty sure my suppressor was off, but I don't even care at this point. I think someone's on the right side. Oh, I missed. My goodness. So that's three shots. I think my mag holds five. I need to reload. Now, I'm not sure if there's anybody else in there, and if there is, they're probably not even going to head this way. They're probably just going to be, uh, probably going to cower behind some, uh, cover. Yeah, because this base is not clear yet. That's, uh, I don't think I've seen him hold the pistol like this before. That was definitely not alone. Mobility is so slow. I hate this. This is why I always go for the mobility bonus. So I'm not sure if there's one or two people here. Oh. Is he upstairs or is he down there? It's honestly hard for me to tell. I don't... I hear footsteps. He's probably bottom. He is moving. Okay, he's upstairs. I think he's alone. If he comes all the way here, I'm just gonna knife him. We're not clear yet. Stay sharp. Yeah. Let me get in a better position. Just in case there is a second person down there. We're clear here. They're gone. Uh. Got him with that horrible, horrible knife takedown cinematic. But yeah, that's it. That's all of them. See, if you just come down the steps, you could sneak in, jump down, and get the MVGs, but then you're still running to the problem of having to go through here. 
Unless there's a ladder over here that leads up there. I don't know. I've never actually looked. But let me see. No, there's no ladder that allows you to climb back up. So, it, even if you sneaked in through the ladder, killed one or two guys in that room, was able to jump down here, get these MVGs, you would still run into the issue of trying to sneak past everybody to get out of that front door. Now, maybe it would be easier that way. I've never actually attempted that. Maybe the next character, once uh, Ash dies, my next character, I've already got planned out. It's going to be a panther class. So maybe next character, once I come back to this place as the panther, and I sneak in, infiltrating, murdering people, I will try that just to see. I do like challenging myself. And I do like trying new ways of in infiltrating bases. Also, since I'm not here to murder everybody, even though I did kind of kill everybody here, I could probably uh, attempt that, just kill whoever's in my way, and then sneak out. But I guess it will all, uh, all depend. So I keep looting these boxes, and I'm not even checking uh, to see what I got. M82. I don't need a shotgun! Don't give me that. Uh, another 1911. Very fantastic. Uh, sure. I'm going to put this bad boy on. This is a 27 gear score. Gear score doesn't matter to me, but it has a 5% maximum ammo. But if I switch to these pants, I lose my ghillie pants. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and dismantle those because I do not feel like I need those. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put those on. Why not? Uh, I do have a skill point. Hallelujah. Let me go ahead and get this so I can open up my sniper perks. So I can get, I can get ballistic. I can get breathe control, which is something I wouldn't mind having. Uh, and I can also get Rolling Thunder. So these are honestly probably the three perks I'm going to be trying to run with my Sharpshooter. I mean, all the the only perks that I'm at, that I actually have is nothing. <laughs> I mean, this is just a drone cooldown. Does this doesn't affect combat at all? So I'm I'm literally doing this with like no not really any perks uh equipped because. Everything over here, I mean, this is just a freaking parachute, so none of this really matters. So, I don't even really have a perk. So, huh, I guess, I guess that Johnny guy just doesn't know how to play the freaking game. Ah. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be that type of person. Just, it kind of makes me kind of giggle. It makes me giggle a little bit. Oh, man. Anyways, I, I cleared this place out, I'm good. I don't even think, I might have got shot by one bullet. Not 100% sure, to be honest. Uh, what did I pick up? Uh, a new hat. Ooh. Ooh, what's a new helmet? So I can go ahead and get rid of this one and replace it with this one in my backpack. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty amazing. So what I'm probably going to do is head up to the bivouac that's above me. Go ahead and sit there. Uh, eat, drink. I would probably need to stretch after what I just did. <laughs> uh, maybe check through everything that I have. Make sure I didn't uh, overlook anything. See if I can upgrade my sniper. I'm not sure if I can, but I can always attempt it. Um, and then probably end the episode there after I get done with all that. But I got my... Did I? Did I even pick them up? Okay, I was fixing to say, don't tell me I gotta run back in there to loot that because I am stupid and forgot to. I was going to be so upset with myself and be like, you're an idiot. How the heck did you run a YouTube channel? Yeah. Anyways, moving on. I hear a flying drone to my left. I don't have to take it out, but I kind of want to, just for the fun of it. Suppressor. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't have. <laughs> I forgot I don't have perks or damage bonus to drones. I was expecting a one-shot hit, to be honest. I also didn't expect there to be two of them right there. But they don't know where I'm at, so I can probably finish this one off. No. Stupid drones. Trying to take my job. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, where? Where, 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 where? I thought it was right here. Okay. Go ahead, deploy my bivo. Get everything set and ready for the next episode. And see what's what. Oh, I'm stretching. In real life, I'm stretching, and my back popped, and it hurt. Dude, bro, your hands are still bleeding. Huh. I might actually need to. Uh, go ahead and eat, my guy. Mm, excuse me. Yummy, yummy. Uh, go ahead and drink some water. Wash it down, my boy. Man, I really hope the immersive mode, immersion mode, whatever the crap... Ubisoft is adding to the game, which apparently is supposed to be coming at the end of this month, which is February, so it's supposed to be coming at the end of this month. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I hope they're immersive mode. Well, okay, for one, I want to know, is it a game mode, kind of like what Ghost Mode and Wildlands was? Is it a game mode that you can choose that is separate from the default game? Or is it just this overhaul game mechanics, everything is just being changed in the game for everybody because i know there's people out there that play this game that don't want that they you know they like it the way it is which is you know their own opinion or is it a game mode where uh mill sims role players people who like the survival aspect you know it's a different game mode they can jump in and play and it adds new things like hey you know uh you're playing this so you can do this uh, this does this yada 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 or is it just a change of the whole game? Um, I don't know. Let me see what I can craft. I, I'm really curious about it, but I can't find any details of, about what it's supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing. Hey, I can actually craft some uh, C4. I already have some food for the road, so I don't need to make any more food for the road. So let me see if I can upgrade my... Nope, I can't upgrade that. Upgrade this. Nope, can't upgrade that. Man, with everything that I'm dismantling, I would kind of assume that I would have enough to upgrade my stuff, but apparently not. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty much just going to end this video right here. But, yeah, I'm really curious about how they're, like, what is it? What are they doing from what I know of, it, it's supposed to come out at the end of this month. But what is it? I need details. Please don't ruin it. Please don't ruin the game. Please don't make it to where it's... Oh, the enemies are freaking buffed. They are bullet sponges like in The Division. Headshots don't mean shit. And you take one, two shots and you're dead. That makes no sense. That did nothing but increase the enemy's health and lower yours. That's not what we want. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what we want as a survival type game. You know, this game, when it was being trailered and when it was being uh, showcased and everything before it released, it was, you know, trying to prove, hey, you're a lone ghost operator on this island trying to survive against, you know, these hard-ass hard ex-ghosts who call themselves wolves. So you need to freaking try to survive. You may run across other ghost operators, and you may not. Whatever, whatever, whatever the case is, whatever scenario you want to go with. Uh, but it was. It, it seemed like it was a Ghost Recon game, but it also seemed like it was basing itself on so many survival aspects, so many survival game mechanics. I remember it was showing. Uh, there was one of them was showing. Oh, there's animals in the game. You can shoot them and harvest their meat so you can cook it. 
And then in the game, there's no point to even killing animals. Yeah, you can kill the animal and pick up the meat and craft rations. But what is the point of being able to do that if you can just loot the same exact thing at a base? Or you can just buy it from the shop here. I feel like they need to take the shop completely out of it because it's not. it makes no sense. You shouldn't be able to just buy these weapons be while you're at a campsite that's like 200 fucking miles away from, you know, Erwan. Um, I mean, I think it's cool, but it, yeah, it maybe should be there, but you should be only able to access it if you go to Erwan and you talk to Maria. You should not be able to access this at any freaking bivouac. Um, you shouldn't be able to um, uh, spawn in vehicles like what the crap i went to this campsite without a vehicle i should not be able to leave the campsite with a freaking motorcycle or a helicopter setting like uh 10 feet from me it makes no sense so my question is are they removing that is it remaining is are they going to keep it are they going to change it are they going to change it to where you can just uh select no vehicle i mean i i, I have questions you know i mean i think the way the game is now is cool yeah but for someone like me who likes playing survival, who uh, likes, you know, what I'm doing now in this video and the other videos in the series and the videos in the series in the future, I like the survival aspect. So I want a survival game mechanics. But like I said, there's other survival games out there. If they don't do that with this game, I can always move on to that and do the, what I want in that. But I enjoy it. I enjoy this game. So I don't want them to add the survival, this uh, immersive mode. And it completely remove everything that's already in the game. I would like for it to be a separate game mode. So, like, if I play with someone and we're doing, like, a tactical thing. Or I'm doing, you know, my own uh, stealth video. I, you know, I can go to uh, a bivouac. I can spawn in a helicopter. Just so I can, you know, freaking start the video out with me, you know, parachuting into the base. Uh, I don't want to have to run around looking for a helicopter. So I like the default game to be like that so I can make my specific base videos, my specific roleplay videos. And then I will like the survival game mode to be separate so I can play survival. I can play, you know, what I'm trying to do now. So it's it's very confusing. It's very mixed feelings about all of it. Um, I mean, you guys let me know. If y'all if y'all if y'all stayed in this video long enough to hear me kind of go on and on about this, me and uh, Hayes, which is the guy I've been playing with, um my co-op videos he uh, me and him had like a 40 30 30 40 minute conversation about this you know him sharing his uh, opinion and me sharing mine and we had pretty similar opinions about this game and what we thought and how it should be and how it actually is and stuff like that so it's very uh you know you, you guys let me uh know what you guys think i have very mixed feelings about all of it to be honest i i do prefer this game over wildlands by a long shot uh, Wildlands honestly just feels like a freaking arcade game, and this feels like a uh, a more realistic game, especially with the movement of the character, the the you know all this, all that, and the stealth. The stealth mechanics in this game is so much better than Wildlands. Wildlands almost has no stealth mechanic at all if you compare it to this game. Um, but yeah, I I feel like this game is more realistic compared to Wildlands, and I feel like this game can do and can be so much more and so much better than it already is. Uh, it all depends on what Ubisoft does, how they uh, go about it. And honestly, I wish I could just get in their freaking little meeting room and be like, "Hey, this, you know, let's let's do this, let's remove this, let's try this, and go at it." Because I feel like you know, uh, like I said, survivor mode should be a separate mode compared to the default game. Uh, but also in the survivor mode, I have so many ideas, like the preparations, the thing thing that I'm doing. I feel like there should be somewhere on the screen saying, hey, you know, your character's getting hungry or, you know, a bar showing, you know, how full your character is and how low he is on eating. So you have to kill animals. You have to pick up flowers to craft medicine. You have to kill animals, uh, you know, um, skin their bodies to get meat, to get whatever. Then you have to go to like a campsite and then you have to cook the meat. You have to eat it. And there's no injury resistance. There, there's no bonus to any of this stuff. It's just, you know, your character's fucking hungry because you're trying to survive from a fucking helicopter crash. crash. Um, so, here's some food. You just killed this deer, cooked the meat, there you go. You're not hungry. You 
you uh, got some water from the creek down the road, you know, now you have some water, drink that water, because if you don't, you're going to freaking dehydrate. Uh, drone speed, I mean, heck, I mean, I, I don't know about that stuff. Stretching, I mean, yeah, if your character, maybe, maybe your character has an injury, and maybe if you stretch, it kind of reduces the injury amount. I don't know. I don't know if you can consider that as like a bonus or whatever, but I feel like realistically, if you have a cramp in your leg and you stretch it, maybe... Uh, maybe you would heal it a little bit. I don't know. Uh, accuracy, I don't know. Maybe if you customize the weapon the way you want it, maybe that would help you be a little bit more accurate. I don't know. So all that stuff is, you know, some of the stuff I, you know, I have my own opinions about and some of it, you know, there's mixed thoughts about it. But I feel like, I feel like it could be so much better. But this is all my opinions and I can go on and on and on for like another three, four, five hours. So I, I I do apologize. I did not mean to end this uh, in this video with like ten minutes of me just going on and stuff. Just this this is some stuff that's just kind of been on my mind, and I just I don't want Ubisoft to ruin this game. Is all I'm saying. I want it to be a really good game that you can enjoy. You can enjoy both the survival uh, aspect and also if you just want to you know fly around in a helicopter jumping from base to base, uh, then you can do that too. I I, I hope they do like a two different a game mode parts like wildlands wildlands have the default game mode and then they have the ghost mode why can't they do do something uh with the modes in this one why can't why can't they have two different modes uh also one more thing i'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there it's about the raids and i'm probably gonna say this multiple times in the future uh and 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 chat and comment sections and on twitter and whatnot the raids the raid island the raid main island i wish and I hope Ubisoft uh, hears me on this. And like I said, I'm going to try to get this through Ubisoft's head. Be like, the Raid Island, I wish you could at least get on it solo. Like, allow me to freaking get on the island by myself and, you know, go through the island, loot the island, discover the intel and whatnot. And then, yeah, I can understand needing four people to take on the Titans because there's no way... Unless you're freaking glitching the game like a fucking dweeb because you're not a good gamer. You have to use a glitch. Then, uh, uh, which by the way, the DMR glitch is back in case you don't, did not know. They did not fix that at all. You can still do the DMR glitch. And I have nothing wrong against, against the DMR glitch. It's just, I hate people saying, oh, bro, I killed all six bosses, all four bosses, all, like, I killed three bosses, six bosses in, like, 30 minutes. I'm so fucking good. Dude, you're not good. You use the glitch, okay? Come back at me when you're not using a glitch and see how many, how long it took you to take down six bosses. All right, all right. Now, I, I don't mean to get off off topic. Like, if you use the DMR glitch to get cosmetic items, cool. I don't mind using the glitch. I've only used it once, and that was months ago, uh, or you know, weeks ago. I don't even know when. I used it once, and I was just trying to get the cosmetic items, but. I, if I use the DMR glitch and I took out six bosses, I'm not going to be like, oh, bro, look at me. I'm so freaking awesome. I took out all six Titans in like 20 minutes with this DMR glitch because I'm so good. You suck. No, no, you, you, you shut your little dirty whore mouth, all right? Anyways, moving on. I, I What I'm trying to say is I wish you can get on the, the raid island by yourself and then... You know, you can probably, like, for example, call in reinforcements, you know, matchmaking, call in reinforcements to get three other people to join you to take on the Titan. And, uh, stuff like that. Instead of having to have four people to get on the island, then, you know, that that's kind of boring. It's kind of annoying. But, um, another thing, whenever they release the AI teammates, I, I don't know how it would work. You know, I don't even know if they're going to try to, uh, put this in the game. But I hope the AI teammates, you can use those as your teammates to get into the islands. You can use them to fight the Titans. It probably, probably won't be that good of a uh, experience compared to playing with like an actual player who kind of knows what to do. But, you know, at least, you know, you have a chance, you know. At least you are able to get in there and try, you know. If you don't want to waste five hours of your life trying to take on a Titan with AI teammates, then you can. You know, you have the option to. You don't have to play with randoms online and yell at them when they yell at you when it's their fault. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I do apologize for like the past 10, 15 minutes. I just, I had an energy drink, so I'm kind of going on and on. <laughs> I'm so full of energy right now. And a lot of this stuff was kind of in my mind. And I was like, I feel like I got to get this stuff out. 
And I don't know, for some reason, I thought right now was the perfect time to freaking do it. So, if you stayed through the whole video, if you stayed through all that rant, if you have any of your own uh, opinions, your own suggestions about what the, you know, whatever, whatever. And if you do have any information about what the immersive mode is actually going to bring to the game, let me know in the comment section because I would like to know. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and go take a nap. Well, I probably won't take a nap. I'll probably just go eat something and come back. But... Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Click that like button if you did enjoy the video. If you're new, click that subscribe button. Again, I hope you have an amazing day and you will see me in the next video. Hopefully, I will not be ranting like I just did.